morning. Well, if you're hoping for a white Christmas, I'm afraid it's going to be rather grey instead. So first of all, a look at the charts. And tonight will be mostly dry with some clear skies in the east. Later on, though, here it's going to cloud over too. There could even be a little bit of rain into the northwest by tomorrow morning. As for temperatures, they'll be fairly cold to start with in central and eastern areas, but picking up there later on in the night as the cloud thickens, staying above freezing along the west coast throughout the night. So head to tomorrow then, and most of us will get off to a dry but rather cloudy start, pretty dull, but already some rain into the northwest could turn out to be heavy at times. And by the afternoon that rain's going to spread almost everywhere, although in the east it should be a little bit lighter, and the heavier rain from the northwest spreading to southwest Scotland, slightly better though behind it for the afternoon. As for temperatures, they'll be very mild indeed into double figures, up to a maximum of 11 Celsius, which is 52 Fahrenheit. Unfortunately, though, the wind's still pretty brisk, so watch out for them. As for Boxing Day, it's still looking quite mild too. And that's all from me for tonight. Have a very happy Christmas from all of us at the Weather Centre. <laughs> Christmas Eve on Scottish, and the bills at 7.30. This is London. The streets are paved with crime. You tell your lads to get their fingers out. Michael Elphick is Ken Boone at 8.30. Mike Cobble. I'd like you to find him. Mr. Boone, this is a private clinic. Our patients' lives are private too. Yeah, I'm told he could be dangerous. We visit the St. James Hospital, affectionately known as Jimmy's at 20 past 10. French Fields is at 10 to 11, before midnight mass begins at 11.35. Christmas Eve on Scottish. And coming up next tonight on Scottish, it's Home and Away. That's after the break. When we get a cold, we most likely get a bunged up nose or a sore throat. But all too often, we get both together, double trouble. And that's precisely why lockets have a double action. On the outside, menthol to help clear your nose and let you breathe more easily. Inside, a liquid center to soothe your throat. Making you feel altogether human again. So for double trouble, double action lockets help clear your nose and soothe your throat. It had to be you. It had to be you I wandered around and finally found the somebody who Could make me be true Could make me be blue Or even be glad just to be sad thinking of you I don't know. This seems very strange to me. Look, this guy's been working all night, and he's looking forward to a good breakfast. He's going to remember us. great pride in the quality food products we make and work hard all year to bring our best to you each morning. He must have liked them. At this very special time of year. Don't worry, maybe you'll see him next year. Ho, ho, ho. We wish you and yours the very best of everything. Guilty. 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 From Boxing Day, everything's reduced to B and Q. It's like they're paying your VAT. B and Q. With everything reduced, you just have to tell somebody. Ah, now you're using one of the best regular washing powders. Will you try Daz Ultra instead? No, I'll have a bit mine. This is a totally different kind of Daz. No, I've tried Daz before. 
I was dead surprised. And such a small amount of powder, I thought, no chance, it's not going to work. I've got four boys. They were supposed to be playing football, but I think they just roll around in the mud, actually. They come in rotten dirty. I was surprised. It did work. I know they all say this, but it did work. Now, the whites were really bright. They weren't like a chewing gum white, which I say is a dirty looking white. They were really bright. I was amazed at the cup. They didn't think anything was going to get that out. So would you swap two packs of your old powder for that ultra? No, I'm not going back to those big packs. When you can get ultra white at a price that's right, would you swap? At the landmark once a year sale, absolutely everything is reduced. So buy now. There's never been a better time to pick up a bargain. Hello, dear gastronauts. Welcome to my humble kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how to cope with one of those little kitchen disasters. No names, no pack drill, but Clive, a big fat close-up, please. No, no, dear boy, not the chips, the chip pan. Got it? Thank you. Anyway, back to me. I can safely reach the knob, so I turn off the heat immediately. I wring out a wet tea towel and place it over the pan and leave it for about 30 minutes. Voila! Now, here's a demonstration which shows you exactly what not to do. Don't throw water onto the flames because the water sinks under the oil, turns to steam, and poof, a recipe for a total disaster. So, remember, the pan should never be more than one-third full of oil and it should never, ever be left unattended because we don't want to end up as <coughs> unidentified frying objects, do we, Clive? Festive highlights on Scottish. Oh. Is it possible? Isn't there some mistake? Just look at those. those. E A R S. <laughs> Disney's classic Dumbo, 10 past 1, Sunday afternoon, on Scottish.